Hello and a warm welcome from our side um, to our hybrid and post milling session here at Daytron. We are located today in our uh, five axis area from our CNC technology center. And um, yeah, we would like to use the next 20 minutes um, to inform you about our hybrid process on our D5 machine. And first of all, I would like to introduce ourselves. Um, so my name is Dirk Iller. I'm responsible for sales in our dental CAD CAM world. And uh, besides me, there is Ruben, who's responsible for our application um, center in the dental field and um, also for, is responsible for the sales of the dental tools. Yeah, so what is the idea um, behind hybrid? Um, so, yeah, we always talk about costs and our customers, the dental labs and uh, the milling centers, they have to choose uh, their costs. And uh, so we are always looking for um, yeah, some good ideas to uh, reduce the costs. And uh, so for yeah, some months and years ago, uh, we decided to start uh, the hybrid project. And um, the idea is that um, if you mill an indication completely out of a plank, um, then uh, you have very, um, on the one hand, uh, very high accuracy uh, on the milling process, but on the other hand, um, also very high costs because of the milling tools and um, because of the material, the plank. Um, and uh, on the other hand, if you take a look onto the laser melting process, um, you have a very um, cheap costs uh, on the one hand, uh, but also on the accuracy side, um, it's not possible, for example, to um, produce some bars or abutments um, in, uh, with the laser melting process. Yeah, and so the um, idea is um, to combine uh, the positive things from both um, worlds into the hyper process. And um, the idea also was to use standard machines, so not to develop some new machines. Uh, so we only develop some uh, new options uh, for the machine and the same on the laser melting side also. So one big point um, on the te technical realization um, is the CAM software. So we have to, um, to find a way that on the CAM software that they produce also a slicing file for the laser melting systems and also the milling file for the post milling on our machine. So we will send you, uh, show you a small video later on. Um, and um, also to uh, find the zero point in our machine, if we put uh, the platform on, onto our machine, it's a very um, important point. So we have to find a solution um, for that. And um, also the processing um, of the screw channel and uh, the seat uh, of the screws. Um, and um, what we did in the last uh, two years uh, was um, to, to measure a lot uh, in the different uh, process stages. So we um, measure all these um, indications that you can see over here. Um, for example, um, after the laser melting um, and then um, after the heating process, uh, then we measure it um, before we mill the parts, um, after we mill the parts and before we remove them uh, from the platform. Um, we did it on a um, 3D uh, coordinate uh, measuring system and uh, to find out um, what is the, the right combination, what is the, the optimum way for the hybrid process and um, all these um, positive and optimal um, things we put together in uh, the hybrid process and uh, this is what we would like to show you in the next steps here on our machine. So one big and important part uh, in the hybrid process um, is the CAM software as, as I said before. Um, and so our partner in the hybrid process um, is uh, Follow Me with Hyperdent. Um, and uh, we um, asked them if they can send us a small video um, with the sample that we uh, prepared here for you. And so in the next two or three minutes, we would like to show you the small video from Hyperdent. Hello and welcome to the hybrid presentation during the Dartron Dental Show event. I'm Simon from Follow Me and I'm happy to present to you the software solution which covers the hybrid workflow. Within Hyperdent we are able to generate the platform for the Trumpf machine including the propping pins for the Dartron D5 milling machine. Around the propping pins you can see the red circle which is a safety area to avoid nesting of parts within this area. Otherwise we would have collision between propping tool and the corresponding STL part. This won't occur because we have this safety area. 
After we have selected the corresponding platform, we can import our SDL files we want to print and post mill. After the SDL import, we generate the corresponding support pins automatically based on user-defined support pin parameters. If you want, you can modify the generated support pins by either adding new pins deleting existing pins or drag and drop the corresponding pins. Once you are satisfied with the solution and with the support generation, you can um, generate the slice file for the Trumpf machine. This is possible by just selecting Calculate Laser Sintering Process. During the slicing process, we open automatically the Trumpf TrueDrops software. Once the Trumpf WZA file has been generated, we can also create the NC program for the Dartra machine. So we just select the parts which we want to machine afterwards on the Dartra machine and click on Calculate Toolpath. Now the C code generation for Dartron runs fully automatically and once we have the platform available after the print process we can start the C program right away at the milling machine from Dartron. So finally the C code generation for the Dartron has been finished so you can now produce your part by printing on the trumpf because you have the WZA format and post mill with high accuracy on the Dartron D5 machine. So thanks to Hyperdent uh, for the small introduction um, of the CAM process um, in, in Hyperdent. Um, now I would like to proceed uh, with the technology package that we, um, yeah, that we need uh, for the hybrid process on our machine. So first of all, we need um, the holder for different kinds of platforms, for example, from Trumpf, Concept Laser, EOS, or other ones. So we have different uh, possibilities uh, to clamp the platform uh, into the holder. That's the first step. The next one is our 3D probe. Uh, that one is necessary uh, to measure the zero point uh, of the platform in our machine. Um, the 3D probe um, is made by an HSK clamping chuck at the end. So we can use um, our um, tool changer uh, to insert this kind of 3D probe. Um, then we have a special kind of um, software function. It's called RTCP uh, software um, to, um, to handle the five axis mode um, into our machine. Um, and the last point um, are some special tools which are necessary to mill this, um, the screw channel and uh, the sit um, from, the, uh, from the screws. Okay, now I would like to show you all these uh, different things live on the machine. Uh, and so we prepare uh, a sample over here and I would like to ask Ruben to give us some more information about this kind of bar. Thank you, Dirk. So what we have here is the, um, uh, yeah, a bar from um, Chemlock. It's uh, 4.3 diameter and uh, also uh, a platform uh, prepared from uh, Trumpf. Uh, you see there's the, the, the measuring points and the, the, the finish glowing. Everything is finished, so we can insert in the machine right now. And we start with the measuring process.
What we saw it, um, is um, how it works on the machine. Now so the technical part is finished um, here on the D5. So now we would like to switch from the technical view to the price side. Um, so what we did was uh, to um, define some samples and to find out what, are, what is the pricing for milling these kind of indications directly out of the plank instead of produce them by the hybrid process. And so to define, we define different kind of um, indications, uh, which you can see on the, on the left side of the, of the sheet. Um, and uh, what we did was to mill them completely out of the plank and to check uh, how long does it take uh, to mill them, uh, what is the, the cost for the material and what are the costs for the milling tools. And we did the same um, on the laser melting side. We put all these values um, in um, an Excel sheet uh, to find out what are the really costs for the milling side, uh, for the milling completely out of the plank, and what are the costs for the hybrid process. So what you can see um, on, the, on the left side uh, on the graphic is um, that we have something about 85 to 90 percent uh, of the cost for the material plank um, and um, the, the milling tool and uh, only something about um, 15 to 20 percent uh, for the machine um, himself. Um, and uh, that's the reason uh, why it makes sense to use the hybrid process to bring down um, the cost for the material and uh, the milling tool. And um, if we create, mill the same parts uh, in the hybrid process, um, then you can see that uh, the cost for the material and uh, on the milling side for the tools uh, are going down um, up to 30%. Um, we have higher costs uh, on the machining side, yes, for sure, because we have to use a um, milling system and a laser melting system. But at the end, uh, the costs come down something around uh, 30% because you have less material costs and less costs for, for the milling tools. And um, if you combine the hyper process with, for example, to use uh, the laser melting system only for laser melting and the D5 also for milling out of the plank, so you can uh, do, do everything uh, both um, on the machine, um, then you can reduce the cost about 45 to 50 percent. So um, it makes sense to use on the one hand uh, the machine on a standard, that means uh, milling out of the plank, and on top you can use it for hybrid. So around 30 to 40 units, uh, we have the same price um, if you mill the um, uh, indication out of the full plank or if you use the hybrid process. Um, if you have more than uh, these uh, 30 or 40 units uh, per day, then it makes sense to use the hyper process. And uh, as you can see um, here on the screen, um, as more as um, more parts you have per day, uh, the more sense is to make uh, to use the uh, the hyper process. So um, yeah, at the, at the end you can use uh, the hybrid process um, if you buy a new D5 machine, but also if you have an older one uh, with the linear scales, um, you can install uh, also this process later on. So we can send you an offer uh, through our um, after, sales, um, after sales department. Um, so that's all from our side. Um, we are coming to an end. Um, if you would like to have some samples on the one hand, or if you would like to, have, uh, to come to a demo to us, um, then you can send us an email um, to our mail address, it's um, experience at dayton.de. Um, so that's the end from, from my side. Um, so thanks for uh, being with us and have a good day. Bye.